Hi, today we've got a Mattel Soccer. I uh, bought this off eBay for spares or repair. I'll just bring the uh, the listing up there. Um, described as not working, so we're not exactly sure what's wrong with it. Now, one thing I have noticed though is uh, that doesn't sound great. So I think the first thing that we'll do is uh, take it apart. Now, unusually, this has got some kind of triangle shaped um, screws on the back. And it looks like there's a bit of tissue or something jammed in the side of the case and just down here. So I've got a feeling somebody's had this apart before. Because I won't think I wouldn't think those screws are kind of factory. It looks like somebody else has put those in. And rather badly. Yeah, I managed to get in there with a little uh, flat bladed screwdriver. I mean they might be original, I don't know, just they look a bit uh, suspicious to me. Right, let's see what's going on in here then. Oh, we have a piezo buzzer kicking around. And it looks like there's a load of it looks like there's a load of being parts being chomped out of this because I can see uh, it looks like there's been a transistor here because I can th see the remains of three legs and it looks like possibly some resistors so I don't know what's gone on with this but it doesn't look good Definitely looks like there's been components soldered to those positions because the solder's still on this side. So I wonder if that's the main IC under here it looks like we've got two LED bubble displays there one of them looks like it's covered in something or being scratched to death so I'm not sure what's uh, what's gone on there either oh right Well, I suppose it was advertised as spares or repair. That's the only thing when you buy stuff off eBay, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, it appears that all those transistors look the same. So I would assume that the transistor missing from here would be the same as those. I mean I haven't actually tried powering it up well, there's a, a wire that's broke or being cut here as well. And like I say it looks like somebody's added a capacitor that looks like freshly soldered across there so I don't know what that is or what that's about. Try a battery on it and we'll just see what we get, if anything. We are getting some kind of lights and things flickering here. I 
but it just looks like a continuous pattern it doesn't look like anything's moving or right okay looks like this is going to be fun then yeah, see, I don't know what's going on with this display here it looks like super ugly or something somebody's Unless there's only one display in there, and that one's not used. Uh, Shell magnifying glass on there, see if I can see anything. Nope, there's two displays in there. I don't know if somebody's put super glue or something on there or what, but it looks a right mess. Either that or somebody's scraped it with something, I'm not sure what's going on with that, it's really weird. Try a little bit of IP on it, but I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference, but... Again, is it worth messing around with the display if the whole thing doesn't work? <coughs> right. Actually, there's a two transistors missing here. No. Yeah, I'm just looking. There's like a footprint of a transistor here, and then it looks like there's been three resistors or something going across. I wonder if those are for the inputs. some uh, new piezo buzzers so I think we'll replace that and then uh, we'll see if we get any sand out the thing or anything right we've got a piezo buzzer there I'm not sure which one's positive and which one's negative but See if it can work that out. Right, so that should be negative. Let's see. Uh, nothing on any of those. And nothing to those. It looks like it goes straight to the IC. We'll just solder them on and we'll see if we get anything. even got less than what we had before oh. I think that way I need to solder back on
solar blow out of it. I'm just going to solder that wire back on. Right, let's see if we get anything on that. So it's not. We've still got the same uh, just LED pattern displayed. And a number four. I wonder if there's any pictures of any of these online and it might be to see a rough idea of what it's supposed to uh, what it's supposed to look like inside right I shall be back in a moment well I couldn't find any pictures of the uh, insides of uh, one of these what I've done is I've used the uh, little grinding pin there with a bit uh, a bit brasso as well and I've tried to clean up that um, that display now from what it seems that transistor that's uh, been cut off or snapped off or whatever seems to drive that display that was all scratched out I don't know what the missing resistors were for but I've got some uh, other ones that are the same value it looks like some kind of pull-up resistor because they all go to ground and then they all feed into this IC down the bottom so We'll populate them and see if this transistor or found will do the job and then we'll see if we get any life out of it then. See if we can solder those in. the excess legs hey right, so I'll put a battery on and see if it does anything different now oh. made a noise and both the displays are lit up you can't quite see what uh, what that one says still actually yeah you can just 45 it's a little bit blurred um, does it do anything if I press any buttons now then No. 
Hmm. Oh, actually, it's clicking. It just moved there when I pressed the button. Yeah, left and right, moving there. Yeah, moving in a square pattern there. Seems to be doing something now. And you still kind of make that digit out very good, but I think it's about the best I'm going to get it. <coughs> right. I wonder what those connections are like there, you know, where it's uh, going into the control panel, because that whole section there, that whole section there is moving, like all the wires are moving. So I think why it's only working sometimes and not others is this uh, the tracks are broke under there. Uh, now this appears to be fastened down with uh, plastic sort of spots, like a spot welded sort of plastic type arrangement. So I'm not sure how successful. We'll be able to get that out. I think that's the problem now. Uh, actually, I wonder if that's just. I didn't even need to take those off. They're just for the off switch. At least there's enough plastic to melt those back on. What do those contacts look like? Yep. I can see one, two, I can see about five or six of them there. If I bring this up close to the microphone, the the, uh, the camera there, sorry. Yeah, you can see all the wires there. They're all broke off. So that's why it wasn't actually doing anything as well. Right, I think we might be to save this one. I was uh, a bit doubtful at first, but... We seem to be uh, working through the problems. Right, I think that'll do for that. I'll just double check those joints. Oh, that seems a lot better. Try and glue this in the place. <coughs> I think I 
I'll put a bit of Gorilla Glue on that. Right, I think that'll do for that. And it looks like it goes that way for the wires. So we'll just leave it like that and we'll come back when it's dry. Right, the glue's dry so we shall uh, put it back together. Just make sure that wire goes in there. I don't think these are the right screws, but that's what we've got, so... These look like something that you get out of a uh, four-way extension or something, like security screws. So I don't know what's gone on with this, it seems a bit strange with the uh, components cut out and... Like I say, somebody's scratching uh, that um, seven segment display bubble lens. Right then. Yeah, you can make the digit out there. It's going to see 45. I'll turn the light off. <coughs> oh, it's a bit too dark in here now. I better put another light on. Two ticks. Turn this light off. That's better, we can see a bit now. Right, so if I press right, I think that starts the game. I've got no idea how you play it. But I can move around there now. Yeah, I think I got a goal there. I don't know what's happening here when you press the buttons. <laughs> Unless that means you're offside or something, I haven't got a clue. Yeah, I'm not sure, but anyway, it seems to be working now. See, all the LEDs seem to be lit up. You can see the score there. I mean, it's not uh, fantastically readable, unfortunately, but uh, apart from that, it uh, seems to be working. Right, I think we'll call this one a fix -on. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.